Hey everybody, Fred here, TFG Media. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, if you're like me and you've been searching for a solution to improve this cumulative layout shift, the CLS, or your LCP speeds, or your first contentful paint speeds, because Google's core web vitals are telling you, you know, your website performance is terrible. Well, you know, I've been searching for this solution for so long and it was staring at me the whole time. And I'm sure you're in the same case and the same situation and you haven't found a solution. Well, I've got the solution. So stay tuned, watch this video. And it's so simple. I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. But here we go. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get going, I do want to say if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, smashing that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new videos, and giving me a thumbs up if you learned something in this video. Okay, so I'm over here in my Google Search Console, and if you're new to Google Search Console, you're going to want to go and get yourself set up on it because it's completely free and it's really, if you're not set up, you really aren't going to know, you know how your website is performing in the eyes of Google. And there's no better resource or source to tell you that than Google itself. So you can see here, I just wanted to show you this quickly. I'm in one of my domain properties, uh, astrojunkies.com, that I'm going to be using for this case study, I guess, or analysis anyway, to see if we can improve that CLS and LCP uh, load times. But I wanted to show you this quickly because it's very, very important that you get set up. And what we're targeting today is Core Web Vitals. So if I click on Core Web Vitals, and guys, this is a new website. You know, I'm not, I haven't been running it very long. Uh, and you can see here right away that it's been performing poorly, right? I mean, look at the mobile experience. And this is a new website. You know, I, I am doing some Amazon stuff. So that's impacting performance. I am doing, you know, running some AdSense. So that's impacting performance. All of these things that you're loading, you know, if you're loading from third-party servers, is going to impact performance but you can see here you know I'm I, you know it's very very poor and if I click on one of these reports I'm just gonna click on the desktop report and this is where you can start to see where these issues are and you can see straight away that I've started a validation because I've actually fixed this issue and it should my you know my speed should improve you know exponentially after this fix that I'm gonna show you is done um, but you can see right now my CLS is poor, my LCP, you know, largest contentful paint issue, you know, it's longer than four seconds. So overall, this site, as far as Google is concerned, as far as user experience, is operating very, very poorly. And this is something you have to fix, guys, because speed is a ranking factor for Google. And so, I mean, I've been spending so much time on this trying to sort this out that, you know, I, I, I was just beside myself. What the heck is going on here? How come I can't get this thing any faster? I've tried disabling ads, all this stuff. And I found the solution, guys. I found it. It's simple. And if it's happening to you, it's probably the same issue. But anyways, I wanted to show you uh, Google Search Console. Make sure you're set up. Make sure you add your domain property or all your domain properties uh, to this. And so I'm going to show you the website quickly that we're going to be looking at. The, the specific article that we're going to be looking at and then we'll run the page speed insight i'll show you the fix and everything's going to be good i swear okay so let's flip over there now okay so you can see i'm over here on my home page of astrojunkies.com and again guys this is a brand new website i'm not going to get some comments you know you're not getting any traffic over here yeah it's a new website you know i'm starting to get some organic traffic i'm starting to see some results here but again i'm being limited i think by this core web vitals that's really starting to hurt my sites in general uh, all of them and so like I say so I'm gonna pick an article here I'm just gonna pick one at random and I think I I ran the P, uh, page speed test on the 10 best telescopes under $200 so I'm just gonna click on this article and you can see here's the article here I've got some nice imagery you know I've got some Amazon stuff you know and it's basically a review article so there is a lot of Amazon stuff here you know I'm just running through it and so it's not the point of what the article is about. It's a point of how do we improve that CLS, LCP, FCP load time to make core web vitals happy. And so this is the one we're going to be studying. So let's, you know, if you want to check out the site, go ahead, come on over, check it out. But let's head over to Page Speed Insights and see what we got over there. Okay, so you can see I'm over here at Page Speed Insights. 
And if you don't know where this URL is, I'll zoom into it here so you can take a good look at it. It's basically just Google PageSpeed Insights and it'll be your first hit. So head on over there. I'm gonna paste in the URL that we just looked at and I'm gonna run the analyze tool. So that's gonna go and scrape the site and do its check on all the key performance uh, indicators for that page. And so it's gonna take a minute to run here. We'll let that run till it's completion and maybe I'll pause the video until it's done. Okay, so you can see it completed and gave me an overall score of 78. So not too bad considering how many ads and Amazon links I'm actually running in that article. You can see it was a full review article, lots of Amazon stuff, you know, lots of Google AdSense stuff. So I would expect a little bit of slowdown attributed to those things. But what we're targeting here is this, you know, largest con, the LCP and the CLS that we were showing errors on in the Google Search Console that I just showed you previously. Now you can see it's actually not too bad and I did dump the cat, the local cache on my server uh, just to make sure when I went and changed this little fix I'm gonna show you um, back to what it was prior when I was throwing all those errors. You know, I wanted to, to start with a clean slate so that you can see the difference after we set those settings that I'm gonna show you uh, to fix this and then move on over to running it again. So. Here we go, so just taking a quick look here. Um, these are the, really the ones we want, the CLS, the LCP, and the FCP is actually pretty decent here for this run. And you can see some opportunities here, and one of them is to reduce the initial uh, server response time. And you know what, that's probably because, you know, it's not running, it's not a cache page, because like I said, I just dumped the server cache for the website uh, just to run this test, so we get a, a good, you know, reasonable uh, view of what this looks like uh, without that fix in place. I didn't want to run a cache version. And if you guys run this and you are seeing a lot of this and your pages are already cached, then I've got to tell you guys, you might want to consider upgrading your host, uh, where you're running, what servers you're running on. And, you know, I'm running all my websites on SiteGround and I'll put a link down in the description for them. I mean, they're, you know, in my opinion, I've tried a bunch of them, HostGator, uh, Bluehost, and SiteGround to me is without question the best, the fastest, the greatest support. They'll help you with all of the different issues. So go ahead and check that link in the description. Um, and hopefully after we you know, reload this page a couple times, we should see that actually disappear because it'll be running a cache version. And then you're gonna see some other things. I may do some other videos about you know, these text remains visible. And if you want to see some videos on how you can eliminate that, then leave a comment down in the description and, you know, it'll give you more motivation to, to do one. Um, but, you know, you can preload a lot of these fonts and things. You know, all these little things that just improve your overall user experience and therefore get a better score in your core web vitals. But again, I don't want to diverge from the focus of this video, which is, you know, fixing or improving CLS, LCP, and FCP, and making sure that those things, at least, that are the, these are the ones that, that Google really seems to be targeting um, for the speed of your website for the user experience. So, there we go. Let's see if we can improve on that. I'm gonna head back into my WordPress admin area, and I'll show you this little tweak, and it's so simple, and hopefully we fix our issue. So let's head on over there now. Okay, so you can see I'm over in my WP admin area for astrojunkies.com, and here it is. So here's the fix, guys. I mean, most of us are using a cache plugin. I mean, I already told you I'm with SiteGround. I love their service. I'm also using the SG Optimizer plugin that's built by SiteGround that really, you know, ties in with their services. And so there's other ones out there and it doesn't really matter which one you're using. It could be WP Optimizer, you know, WP Rocket, you know, some of these other paid type um, uh, plugins for caching. Uh, however, what you want to do, I'm gonna say in two words. Are you ready? Lazy loading. Lazy loading. You know, you think lazy loading is a good thing, but it, I'm telling you, it is hurting your CLS, LCP, FCP, all of those things because it's it's shifting elements around on your screen because it's lazy loading those images and these types of things. So, you know, it's fine to lazy load anything what they say is below the fold, which isn't the, you know, on the screen when you first visit a page. Anything above the fold, you want to turn off lazy loading. Now, 
some tools are, are better and more granular and give you more control over you know which elements on a page you can lazy load SG optimizer isn't that granular because it I think it leaned towards simplicity more than granularity when it comes to this but what I would recommend you do right now right now look at your lazy loading settings because if you're like me I just you know you see lazy loading you know okay this sounds like a good thing it should be helping my speed well I'm just gonna lazy load everything well I'm telling you right now it's hurting CLS and LCP especially okay so I'm gonna go into SG optimizer down here you can see it right here I mean I can't believe how easy this was I mean guys lazy loading was causing this issue and whether it's a actual speed increase or just a perceived speed increase as far as Google's core web vitals are concerned I don't care I want to see green and if Google's happy I'm happy and that's all I care about you know I did see a little bit of hit in my overall speed score because I've disabled lazy loading like you can't win sometimes like they want you not to move things around like shift things around while your page is loading but if you lazy load these things it's gonna hurt you guys so again you know SiteGround excellent host if you're looking for a new host link in description go check them out I mean they're fantastic and they have all the you know the standard settings you know your caching settings environment optimizations uh, I'm not gonna get into all of these because that's not the point of this video but again front-end opti optimizations minifying your JavaScripts CSS all that good stuff it does all that you know with the click of a switch and these other plugins do the same thing uh, you know you know you know optimizing your images you know for web optimized lossless um, just making sure your images are optimized okay that's important and this is actually where we want to be in this plugin under media optimization if I scroll down under this lazy loading I mean oh god guys I can't believe it was this you know it took me this long so you can see here I just checked everything blindly to lazy load it and it's hurting like I say I wish there was a way to really I mean they have this exclude from lazy loading and you know you can exclude and start wrapping you know different elements in the CSS class and then exclude that CSS class but I mean that gets a little more complicated guys what I recommend you do if you're if your theme uses responsive images turn it off because a lot of themes actually what they do is they will resize you know your images depending on what device you're on and you don't want to lazy load those because if I'm on a mobile and I got a featured image it might resize that I can't target that specific image using the CSS class because it's going to append different file names or a different name it's going to make a different name for that specific image and so this is just the easiest way guys just disable lazy loading for things you don't want to lazy load lazy load for mobile no I'm turning it off done I don't want to lazy load turning this off lazy load widgets no I don't want to lazy load those fix lazy load for shortcuts I'm turning it off and then the last one the lazy loading for thumbnails I mean you may want to leave this on gravatars you know if you're doing um, you know a lot of comments I just disable comments altogether but if you got forums with gravatars you might want to leave those on I don't know I'll leave gravatars on because I do run some forums uh, but I'm turning thumbnails off and the only thing is I'm gonna lazy load is any embedded videos in my in my uh, articles I'll leave those lazy loading and so basically if you're using SG optimizer I'm just gonna keep keep these three settings checked and guys I'm gonna tell you I expect to see a very good improvement on my CLS and LCP I'm gonna go ahead and just dump the cache I'm gonna purge, purge the cache again just to make sure okay I'm purging it now that we've set those settings and let's go over to uh, I'm just gonna go back to the website and just so you know I'm dealing with a cache version on the site again all right here we go and let's see okay so let's head back over to uh, page speed insights now that we've disabled some of those lazy loading things and let's see if it actually fixed it so let's head on over there now okay so I'm back over at page speed insights let's dump in the URL here again very quickly and run the analyze, analyze tool and you know we'll give this a minute again I'll pause the video come back to it and we'll see what we get after we've disabled lazy loading my god I can't believe it was that easy anyways we'll be right back okay so you're ready to be blown away by this improvement just that simple disabling lazy loading. I got to blur it out here because 
It's incredible that it was that simple. So you ready? Here we go. Drum roll, please. Bang. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. 93. Look at my first contentful paint. 0.4 seconds. LCP, less than a second. CLS, almost virtually zero. There's no shifting going on. I mean, I think the big issue is we don't understand what these things are. I mean, once we understand what these things are, it makes perfect sense that lazy loading would be impacting it because the images are loading after different elements on the page. And then once we load the images, those elements have to shift. And so guys, if you've been struggling with CLS, LCP, Core Web Vitals, all of these things, you have to look no further than lazy loading. Turn it off where you don't need it, okay? If your cache plugin has more granular controls to disable things that are only above the fold, just disable the above the fold elements and images, prevent them from lazy loading. This is it, guys. So again, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you learned something and this fixed your issue, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below and let me know how it worked for you. Uh, again, this is Fred, TFG Media. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.